Hey folks, back with the 350 Legend. Today we're gonna shoot some distance shots to see how far that bullet's dropping. So again, we're shooting the Winchester white box. The 145 grain 350 Legend Winchester white box. Last time it didn't group. Last time it didn't group all that great, but I think it'll be enough to where we can get a drop distance from 100 to 200. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot this. I got a target out there at 200 yards and we'll see how far that bullet's gonna drop at that distance. We'll go down there and take a look and see how far that drops. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot it again. You can see the group right here. One, two, three. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot it again. I'm gonna flip this upside down, shoot it again, and see if we're still keeping the same distance and drop. Folks, the reason I know what range I'm going to is because I've been using my SIG Kilo 1400 BDX and I don't have the software um, that I'm using. I'm just using it to range with. And it's a uh, really nice range finder. I got it off of Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. I would recommend it so far. So here we go, we're gonna shoot the 350 Legend out of the CMMG at 300 yards. We'll see how far it drops. And instead of shooting two different times, I'm gonna go ahead and load up the mag with 10 rounds and just shoot all 10 at the 300 yard, try to get a good grouping in there. So at a hundred yards zero on the rifle, at 300 yards, we are putting those rounds somewhere around the 40 inch mark. We have some up in the 38 and a half. We have some down in the 43 mark. Remember I was using a red dot if I was using something that was scoped, we'd probably have a better grouping. Again, this is a Winchester white box. The biggest spread at 300 yards is 10 inches. But then we have these two down here. That are real close together. We got these three. Got these three that are super close. So with a red dot, it's hard to shoot for groups, but that's what's on my wife's rifle right now.